Six in the morning, first call of the day. Faulted out air dryer. We've got the fault indicator right here, and it shows that we are not drying. We need to be in the green. So let me open up the paneling on this thing and see what I can see inside this unit. First steps to troubleshooting a refrigeration unit. Does it have power? Yes. Is the compressor on? No. Are the coils dirty? No. The evaporator coil on this unit is completely encased in foam and insulated tape. And the condenser fan and compressor are not operational. So I have a feeling that this thing might have tripped out on high temp or high pressure. So here is my high pressure and low pressure reset switches. And it looks like my high pressure switch is tripped. There we go. Reset and my compressor is now started. After watching it for a minute, I don't see my condenser fan coming on. So it looks like the condenser fan is intermittently running and seizing. There it is, it's seizing up. So that condenser fan is seizing up and it needs to be replaced. So after some doing, I managed to find that motor's Chinese counterpart. Okay, so I got the fan out and I gotta tell you, this thing was not easy to get out of. This thing is definitely freezing up and needs to get replaced. Okay, so now that the new condenser is in, I want to make sure that fan blade is spinning and not hitting the fan shroud. Nice. Alright, so now that the fan is wired in, we got to plug this unit back in and flip the switch. And there it goes, starting up. Alright, so now this unit is cycling on and off as it should. I suppose the easiest way to troubleshoot an air conditioning unit or any type of refrigeration circuit is to know its sequence of events or its operation. So now that the unit is operational, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this dead body right here. So yes, this was a relatively easy repair. So for more long form videos, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there.